Hello and welcome to our new education session. Today we are going to talk about the coenzymes, cofactors and prosthetic groups, their interaction and significant functions. First I would like to share my screen with you. You see it? Good. About coenzymes, cofactors and prosthetic groups. No, apoenzyme is the name given to an inactive enzyme that lack its coenzyme or cofactor. Whenever it binds to its cofactor, which is a close friend, it will give rise to holoenzyme. This holoenzyme term used to describe an enzyme that is complete with its coenzyme and cofactor. These are enzyme partners actually and non-proteinaceous substances in nature. You know, we rely on other people at certain time in our life. So we shouldn't be surprised that the same thing can happen in a biological process. For example, enzymes benefit from a new close friends to we call them co-factor. Some enzymes need helper or partner and some don't. These enzymes helper may either bound to enzyme very tightly in case if they are tightly binding they are called as prosthetic groups sometimes these closer friends either do not bind or loosely bind with the enzyme then they are called as cofactors cofactors are helper molecules and can be organic or inorganic in nature Organic cofactors are called coenzymes. These coenzymes quite often bind loosely to the binding site of an enzyme and aid in substrate interactions. However, inorganic ions or minerals or metal ions do not bind the enzyme. The enzyme having binding site for metal ion are known as metal organics. These coenzymes and cofactors play an integral role in a number of cellular metabolism reactions, playing both structural and functional role in aid in the catalysis. Let's now extend our knowledge about coenzymes and the important functions. This is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide molecule, NAD in short. It is a cofactor found in all living cells. The compound is called dinucleotide because it consists of two nucleotides joined together with their phosphate groups. One nucleotide contains an adenine nucleobase and the other nicotinamide. The function of this NAD has several essential role in metabolism. It acts as coenzyme in redox reaction as a donor of ADP ribose moieties in ADP ribosylation reaction as a precursor of the second messenger molecule, cyclic ADP ribose. Another is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. It is abbreviated as NADP. In order notation, it was called triphosphopyridine nucleotide or TPN. It is a cofactor used in anabolic reaction such as the Calvin cycle and lipid and nucleic acid biosynthesis, which require NADPH as reducing agent. NADPH provides the reducing equivalents for biosynthetic reactions and the oxidation reduction involved in protecting against the toxicity of reactive oxygen species, allowing the regeneration of glutathione. NADPH is also used for anabolic pathways such as cholesterol biosynthesis and fatty acid chain elongation. This is a flavin mononucleotide, FMN. It is also known as riboflavin 5 phosphate. It is a bimolecule produced from riboflavin that is also known as vitamin B2. I am riboflavin kinase and function as prosthetic group of various oxidoreductase reactions, including NADS dehydroxinase, as well as cofactor in biological blue light photoreceptors. Flavin mononucleotide is also used as an orange red color additive in European countries. Next is 
flavin adenine dinucleotide or FAD it is a redox reaction coenzyme and it is associated with the various proteins FAD can exist in four different redox states which are flavin N5 oxide or quinone semi quinone or hydroquinone FAD is converted between these states by accepting or donating electrons FAD in its fully oxidized form or quinone form except two electrons and two protons to become FADH2 or hydroquinone form the semi quinone FADH can be formed by either reduction of FAD or oxidation of FADH2 by accepting or donating one electron and one proton respectively some proteins however generate and maintain a superoxidized form of the flavin cofactor that is the flavin N5 oxide next is the coenzyme A molecule it is notable for its role in synthesis and oxidation of fatty acids and the oxidation of pyruvate in the citric acid cycle this, this is very common coenzyme next is thymine pyrophosphate it is thymine derivative it is also known as vitamin b1 which is produced by enzyme thymine diphosphokinase thymine pyrophosphate is synthesized in the cytosol and is required in the cytosol for the activity of transcitolase and in mitochondria for the activity of pyruvate oxoglutarate and branch chain ketoacid dehydrogenase Next is pyridoxal phosphate molecule. This is also known as PLP or P5P. It is the active form of vitamin B6 and is a coenzyme in a variety of enzymatic reactions. This PLP molecule acts as coenzyme in all transamination reaction and in certain decarboxylation, deamination and racemization reaction of amino acids. Next is lipoic acid It is also known as alpha lipoic acid ALA and thioctic acid it is an organosulfur compound derived from caprylic acid or octanoic acid one of the most studied role of ALA is a cofactor of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex only the dextroenantiomer of this molecule exists in nature and it is essential for aerobic metabolism because ALA is an essential cofactor of many enzyme complexes it is a cofactor in dna synthesis and both fatty acid and amino acid metabolism also next is biotin biotin is a water soluble vitamin it is also known as vitamin b7 and earlier it was known by vitamin h or coenzyme r It is a cofactor responsible for carbon dioxide transfer in several carboxylase enzymes like acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase alpha acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase beta and pyruvate dehydrogenase etc Next coenzyme is the vitamin B12 Vitamin B12 it functions as coenzyme for three types of enzymes isomerase methyl transferase and dehalogenase next is tetrahydrofolic acid or tetrahydrofolate it's a folic acid derivative this tetrahydrofolic acid is a cofactor in many reactions especially in biosynthesis or anabolism of amino acids and nucleic acids this was the brief account of coenzymes cofactors and prostatic group we will meet again with a new topic that's it for today